Hello and welcome to the inaugural season of Super Smash Idols. So this is just more or less an experiment that I'm trying. I know some of you guys like watching videos where I did the live streams and I have a bunch of the me girls, which are just going to be me's of all the girls from Love Live, fight in Super Smash Bros. and see who can win a, a grand tournament of 32 girls. So I decided maybe I'll try to make more videos on that and see how it does. If you guys like this, I'll definitely keep it going. If not, well... At least I enjoy it, so I'll probably keep it up, but I'll probably do it a lot less often. But let me know what I could do in the future for the change this. But anyways, this is going to be having the girls from the Muse, Hakua, and Nijigasaki High School Idol Club fight each other into death in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. I even invited Arise and Saint Snow to participate in this. Here's just a look at the Google Sheet, which I will have a link in the description. This will have the schedule for all the girls, and I'll, I'll update it as victories go on. And on our tab, I'll have the overall stats, so you can see who's doing well and who's not. And depending on if they do well enough, they will hit the playoff system, which I have below, which I'll describe a little bit later. But basically, there's going to be buys, and then there's going to be 6 out of the 11 teams getting in. So there will be all the information will be on this Google Drive for you to look at if you're interested. It's there at least for me to keep it organized and to see how things go and maybe at the end we'll give awards to who performed the best in the season. There are a total of 11 teams in here. The teams are divided into subunits of sizes of 2 to 4 where Diva Diva and Saint Snow have 2 members. Arise, Azela, Azuna, BB, Siren, and Guilty Kiss, Lily White, and Print Up all have three members, while Quartz is the only one with four, as you can see. Each team will compete against other teams in a classic battle with three lives in a stock battle. Last survivor wins. In the event a team has less members, such as Arai fighting Quartz, which is three against four, I will duplicate one of the members through Idol Magic so that they can fight with even numbers, so then Arai would get four versus four. So there will be a duplicate of some Arise member which I'll probably just select randomly. There are a total of 11 teams that will be competing over 11 weeks. Each team will get to fight each other team once and will also have one bye week which means they will not be fighting in that week. So for example Lily White is the first to have a bye week so in this video Lily White will not fight but they will fight in the rest of the 10 weeks following after that. At the end of the season, the top 6 contenders will be eligible for the playoffs to see who will win the Love Light Championship for Season 1. For Week 1, we have the battles of Arais vs. Sanon, Guilty Kiss vs. Azana, Azilla vs. Diver Diva, Printump vs. Quartz, Saint Snow vs. BB. So those will be the battles that will be shown momentarily. So without further ado, let's jump into the first battle. It will be Arais vs. Sanon. Who will be victorious? Let me know who you guys are rooting for in, in the comments. I will see if they make it into the playoffs. Alright, how are you guys doing today? Here we have the first battle of the first week for Super Smash Idols. So, as I already explained the rules, but just to clarify once more again, we will have 3 on 3 since uh, the first battle will be Arais and Sanon. There will be no need for additional substitutions or doubling up of characters. So we'll just have 3 on 3. Each person will have 3 lives and it will be pretty much a standard battle. Random map and whatnot. So now I have them shifted onto teams. So it doesn't really matter what color, but we have red team and blue team. Team attack is not on, so they cannot hurt each other. And it just matters who is the last standing. So it doesn't matter how many kills you would get. But that is really all you need to do is just have the last person standing and you will win the fight. This will only be one battle. As this is part of the regular season, I wanted to make sure this is a little faster since we will have five battles per week. So of course this is the first battle, Arise and Siren, so without further ado, let's get this started. So on Team Arise we have Subisa, Anju, and Adina, and on Siren we have Chika, Ruby, and Yo. So we, we start off the battle here and there's already a lot of fighting, of course we have a 3 on 3. There is a lot of people here all fighting in one area. So we have Yo who charging up a shot. And hopefully be able to get some big damage here. So I already see Ruby taking massive damage. But she did survive. We have some a lot of harassment on the left side guarding the edge here. Trying to get a quick and easy kill, but it was overall not very successful, but we had a lot of damage here. 
Tsubasa did not lose life here, so she's still fine, but everyone's starting to get really high percentages here. With you being pretty good so far. The first kill was against Ruby here. And yikes, Tsubasa killed herself. Looks like Enina was lucky and was able to take advantage of one of the walls to be able to survive. But not for very long as she commits suicide there. So we have a lot of people fighting off to her right, and Yo survives that. Currently, it looks like Arise is losing right now. And now everybody on Arise has lost a life here. Chica is... never mind, everyone has lost a life so far. Arise is still a little bit behind, they have a bit more damage overall. So we're looking to be in currently in Sidon's favor here. Everyone is fighting off the ledge here. And Suicide was not able to recover from that. So it, it, it's just a fiesta over on the left side. As everyone is trying to make sure no one can get back on the ledge. All Sidon is making sure it's very difficult to get back on the ledge here. And they continue to fight off this ledge. We have Yo who looks like she won't make it. No, she will not make it. She got pushed all the way to the side. And there goes Chica as well. Alright, Sidon, uh, now all each member is down to their final life here. And there goes Chica, and she has now been eliminated in this battle. Same thing with Supercell, but Eddie now decides to give up her spare life to Supercell to make it a 3v2. It could pay off dividends, but we will have to see if Eddie will lose her life very soon. Currently, Yo and Ruby are struggling here. Now that they are outnumbered. And there we go, Subasa lost her life here. But now it's a 1v2, Yo is trying to fight off Arise here. Will she be able to do it? We'll have to see, her damage is really high. But she could possibly finish off Adina and make it a pretty even battle here. And no, looks like, well she lived. But she'll not be able to recover. And Arise will take the first battle of the first season here. With the two remaining members here. So congratulations to Arise winning the first battle, as Sinon will not be able to claim that first victory. Of course, there are 11 weeks, but we'll have to see. So Edina, who decides to destroy everyone, gets 7 whole kills and only 1 death. Subosa was the least productive, getting 1 kill and dying 4 times, not very leader-like. Yeah, and Yo overall did perform the best on the Sinon team as you got 4 kills. Alright, now welcome to the second battle here. The second battle we will be having Guilty Kiss versus Asuna. So we will be having Yoshiko, Mari, and Riko. And we will be having Ayumu, Setsuna, and Shizuku for Asuna. So let's go ahead and start the battle here. So currently we are going to be fighting on a battle which is from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Battle, I mean, that's the name of the song. But, uh, the stage is, uh, something killer again. So, we got going on here. We have some divided people here. So, two of the Azanas are just chilling on the top here, which is not very helpful for someone who's stuck in a bomb way. Shizuku. But now we're doing. 2v1 here and there. And it looks like Aim got spiked at the beginning, so Azuna is down one life already here. So we got Palkia in the background, which will not be able to do anything as Hazard should be turned off. But, alright. Aimu lost another life here, but so did Yoshiko, but Aim is in deep trouble here and losing two lives very early here. Guilty Kiss is in a much better spot here, as they only lost one life. Setsuna and Shizuku are pretty high percentages with Riku high-ish, but not quite as high. And Mari doing alright here. So it does not look very good for Asuna. Now Setsuna lost in our life here. So Asuna is in pretty deep trouble here as they already lost three lives here. Down to Guilty Kiss is only one so far. So overall not a very good showing so far. Here we have most people up top, and oh, it looks like Rico just lost a life here. 
trying to even it out a little bit, but the percentages are really high for a lot of the Azana members here, so they are likely to lose life pretty soon. Setsuna has lost her second life now, leading to Ayumu and Setsuna both only having one life. Shizuku, however, still has all three lives for Azana, so we have to depend on her to carry the whole group. Now, Ayumu is not doing very hot, so she's looking to lose her final life very soon, which she'll probably go ahead and take that from Shizuku just to make sure that they don't have a 3v2, which is incredibly devastating. Alright, so we still have Mata who has three lives available. Yushiku just lost another life here. So now she's down to her final life here as well. Now and we have most of the people fighting at the bottom portion here. And it looks like just damage is accumulating and people are really high. Mati's just one big hit away from dying here. She scoots down to two lives here. Which she might have to sacrifice that extra life in case of any more Cessna is not able to survive all the way towards the end, which is incredibly likely. Ari's still holding on to her, her, her life here, but we'll see if she'll be able to keep that. There goes Rico, and now she's down to her final life as well. Madi's still the only person with all of her lives. She is able to survive in that kind of cave as she only got Ricochet up and down, keeping her alive until now as she just had too high of a percentage to be able to survive that. Alright, Yoshiko is down and out, and she'll take one life from Mari. How kind of her. So, Guilty Kiss is down to one life each. Azuna is somehow still at four, incredibly, and they made a major comeback here. But a lot of those deaths were mostly Guilty Kiss's fault from being punished. So we'll have to see how this turns out, but Azuna has made a good comeback here. We'll see if... It'll be able to pay off as all of them are close to dying here. With only one life to really spare here. Alright, Chisuku has lost her second life. And now Setsuna is out. And Aimu is barely holding on. And now it's down to the final life for Azuna. As they only have Chisuku to hold on in a 1v3. Um, they only have three lives here, but it is just impossible to get out of. And Yoshiko goes and gets a spike as Shizuku can't do anything in a 3v1 scenario. So congratulations to Guilty Kiss as they claim their first victory here. As they all did pretty well, they had a good amount of teamwork. Although, Yoshiko should die a little bit less. But overall did alright. And he would commit suicide which is not recommended. And Shizuku didn't do a whole lot of combat but she survived for a while. Setsuna was able to get 3 kills and 3 deaths, which is pretty even. Mare overall had the best performance, she was able to get 3 kills and only die once. And she also donated life to Yoshiko. So here we have the third battle with Diver Diva. As you know, Diver Diva is a group of 2, which will be Ai Miyashita and Karanasaka. But a 2v3 is not a fair fight, and I don't want to take anybody out or else it wouldn't be Azela. So in order to make this fair, I just duplicated someone since we are able to do that. I don't want to do handicaps because that's not exactly always the most fair thing. So I decided to pick someone random and double them up. So in this case, we'll have a second eye. It could be Conan, but we'll just do it randomly and see whoever we get. In the case where uh, this would, Diver D will be fighting against Quartz, which has four members, we'll just have two eyes and two Cottons to make up for that. Alright, so let's go ahead and start the battle here. So of course we will have Daya, Hanamaru, and Kanan versus I and Kanan plus an I clone to make up for it, so we'll have a 3v3. So we get the battle starting off here, and this is Spire Mountain, which is from Banjo and Kazooie. Everyone starts deciding to fight off the right ledge here, and already we have a lot of people harassing each other and trying to make sure they cannot recover. Currently we have all of Azela currently trying to punish whoever's on this ledge here, but Diver Diva is trying to fight back here. So currently, Hadamaru has the least amount of percentage, and it looks like one of the eyes already have lost a life here. So Azela has a pretty good lead here. But anyways, Hadamaru has only had 24%, which is pretty good so far. So everyone else is already in the 60s, the 70s, and even 80 percent here. Neverdiva is trying to come back here, as they already have dug itself a little hole right here. 
but we'll have to see if they're able to make a good comeback here. And I already lost the second life here. I know that's not how to do it. Be more like the other eye. So currently, Kanan is not doing very hot, and Kanan, Kanan has lost a life here, so everybody just has a really deep pull as Izola has not lost a single life whatsoever yet. But that could change very soon as two of them are incredibly high percentages. And there goes Kana, who's lost the first life for Azella. So, uh, I don't know if Derby should be really fighting on this ledge here, as they've been punished greatly over that. Dai has now lost her first life. Now, Azella's down two lives, as the other group, Diaper Diva, is down three lives here. Dai is still holding on to her third life here. And the other eye is holding on to her final life, and she is in really high percentages, so she might have to take a life from, I guess, herself. I has now officially lost her first life, so I haven't lost a life on Diver Diva so far. Currently, Hanamaru is the only one to maintain holding all of the starting lives here, which will be three. But she's at 155, so she will die from any big hits here. Same thing goes with one of the eyes. So, all, overall, Zell is looking pretty strong here. There goes Hanamaru, who finally lost a life, so everyone has lost a life so far. Looks like I should fall pretty soon. One big hit, and she will be done. So everyone's back on that ledge, trying to punish anyone who's foolish enough to fall for a trap here. Ooh, and he uh, gets a big hit, but that's not enough to finish him. There goes Kanan, who's down to her final life. And it looks like I has lost a life here. Now, oh, and there goes I. But she will take her life from Conan to make sure we save a 3v3 to make it so more even. Because you never want to be in a 2v3. And is that enough to finish that? Not quite. She lives, but then she gets killed right after that. So, Zella's down to 4 lives. Well, Diver Diva has 3. Will they be able to mount a comeback? Not likely. And it looks like she will lose her life incredibly soon. And that's just there we go. Now we're down to two eyes. We're down to one eye. And it's just impossible to come back from this. Four lives down to one life here. I will not be able to be able to come back from this. It's just only a matter of when she will lose. We get a big hit from Daya, but that's still not enough as she's only near 100 percent As she will be dying pretty soon, as she will be getting comboed, just trying to get back on the stage here. Frankly, oh no, no! I was about to say if she can get any kills, it would have been enough. But nope, that is not enough. As Azella will be claiming their first victory for the group. So overall, Azella did pretty well as they dominated overall. Azella had a lot more kills, and uh, they still had four lives to spare at the end. I got two kills and two kills. But, and I also lost four lives here, which is really not good. Kind of only got one kill, but she did have to sacrifice a life for one of the eyes. Hanamaru just really carried as she got five whole kills here, and only died once. So congratulations to Azella here. And welcome to Battle 4 here. So here we have the four girls from Quartz, which would be Kasumi, Rina, Emma, and Kanata. So of course we know Printump. Only has three members, so I added a duplicate, which will be Honoka. So they will have four, as I don't want to remove a member from Quartz to make the three Andre battle. So in this special case, we will have a four on four. Of course, the other members will be Kotari and then Hanayo. Beyond that, nothing else is special. So let's go ahead and jump into the next battle here. So here it's going to be even more chaotic as it's a four on four. So I'll be able to tell what's going on because there's more members, right? Clearly. All right, so we have a lot of quartz fighting in the middle, and everyone is now on that ledge here. And ooh, big recovery from Kanata. Everyone is fighting around here, so Kotori is taking big damage here as well as Hanayo. Quartz not as much. Looks like Kotori is the first to lose a life here, and that's pretty quick. Now we're down to 11 lives versus 12 lives overall. Hanayo is pretty high percentage. He looks like she might lose life pretty soon here. We have Rina, who's probably the best overall in terms of damage wise, has not lost a life and only has 35% here. Looks like Hanata got toadstooled and was not able to recover in that little ditch. Hanayo is really high percentages here. One big hit and she will be toast. 
It looks like one of the Honokas are uh, not die yet. And there goes Hanyo. Now we got two Honokas who are still holding on to their first life here. But they're both really high percentages. Emma and Rina and Kasumi are all high percentages, but they also still want their first lives. Overall, a lot of chaos is happening in the middle. And there goes Emma who lost her first life. And Honoku also lost life here. And the other Honoka. Looks like all of Printop has lost life here, and then Kotri has lost another life. Now, looks like Kasumi is still soul has sole possession of three lives here, as no one else has been able to survive for that long. And looks like Kasumi will not be able to recover as she got told stool in that ditch. And now everyone has lost a life here. So Kotri is doing really bad as she only has one life here, but if she gets punished she might be able to steal life from someone else. But we'll have to see. Hanyo is down to her final life as well, and so is Kanata, as she got pushed down in the center. So Emma looks like she'll be the next to lose life here as she's really high percentage. And there we go. So we have a relatively even battle here in terms of lives now, but percentages wise it looks like Printump is struggling here. And it looks like Rena will not be able to cover here as she got towards stool in that area as well. So you gotta be really careful about this ditch as you can get told stool and pushed down and not be able to recover here. And a lot of people were killed that way. So currently, looks like Printop it ha technically has the lead, although percentage-wise it doesn't look like that. But it's still anyone's game here as any big swing can make a difference. And it looks like Kotri is now officially out. But she does steal her life off of one of the Honokas to make sure that it's still a 4v4. 4v3 is not the worst though, but it's understandable you want to make sure you still have even numbers because there is no team attack on here. So an extra hit will be very punishing. Alright, and now Honoka is down to her final life. Now all of Printum is down to their final life here. And then Haneo is out. And so is Kotri. Now we're down to one life. 1v4. Let's see if Honoka can fight all of them here as her team quickly abandoned her. So we have 5 lives to 1, and it does not look like Printop will be able to make up for this. And there we go! Printop gets eliminated as Quartz smacks them in the end. So congratulations to Quartz who takes this battle, and Printop takes her first loss. As we have Kasumi who got 5 whole kills here, which is pretty incredible. And then there's Hanyo who didn't get a single kill, which that's not good at all. We have pretty big participation from Rina and Kanata, as well as one of the Honokas and Kotri, but Kotri died really fast here. But unfortunately, it's the first loss, but it's only the first loss as well, so we still have a long season ahead. But for right now, Quartz gets, a force, gets their first victory, and we get the first loss for Pintop. And welcome to the final battle of week 1. So this is battle 5 we got here. And of course, some of you might be wondering, where is Lily White? Well, currently there's 11 teams, so I have it so that every week one team will have a bye. So that will be Lily White, as they had a bye this week. So they will not be fighting this week. Next week they will be fighting and they will fight all the next 10 battles. Next week we'll have Sairan on bye. So they will be able to enjoy not fighting. So here we have Saint Snow versus BB. Of course, Saint Snow is a group of two, so I have ended up picking random. Remember to make it a, a 3v3, which we'll have Leia. And of course, we have the rest of BB as normal. So in Saint Snow, we have Sara and Leia plus Leia, and then we have Nico, Maki, and Eddie. So here we'll be fighting in the Pokemon. As we know, idols must be good at Pokemon. So, oh, Ellie. That Ellie makes a big mistake in the beginning, dying instantly, putting BB at a really big disadvantage as she just seemed to fall in the hole and just die. Apparently, I guess Ellie does not have Pokemon skills here. And we got another death by Maki, as BB decides it's not time to win, so they already lost two lives here, while Saint Snow really hasn't gotten close to losing a life yet. So it looks like they're just struggling really hard right now. Will BB be able to make a comeback after these myriad mistakes? Well, we'll have to see, but not very likely. BB is trying, but they all have all ha high 
all three of them have high percentages here, and Saint Stone not quite yet. They are at a disadvantage at damage, even though technically they gotta reset the damage after dying really quick here. And it looks like Ellie's down to her final life already, as she got punished towards the edge and was not able to recover here. Still, not very high percentages for Saint Snow, minus one Leia I guess, but Maki is looking to lose a life pretty soon here. Alright, we got the first kill by Vivi on one of the Leias, as Ellie was able to grab one of the kills. But it's still 8 lives to 6 lives here, and that is not very good overall. Especially seeing that Maki is going to lose a life well, right now. So now we have Maki and Ellie down to 1 life, and Niku who just lost her first life here. So we're down to 4 lives versus 8 lives here, and it's just becoming more and more of a massacre here. BB's not having a great showing, and Maki just got eliminated and steals the life from Ellie here. Now it's 3 lives down to 8 lives, and it's just getting worse and worse here as BB's just not putting up a fight here. Just overall, this is pretty incredible how one-sided this battle has quickly become, even though technically they did not have to be so poor at fighting after committing suicide so many times. Looks like Leo has lost another life, while well, two Leias, the Leia and Sara both have three lives. And there goes Leia and Sara, I guess. So just as I said, I jinxed it. And now everyone has officially lost life, but Nico's out, Maki is out. It's five lives to one here. And Ellie's looking to die very soon. So congratulations to Saint Snow, I suppose, for having a very dominant battle here. Just we slowly watch Ellie die. Oh? No, she tried there, but not enough. And that will finish off Ellie as all three of BB finished with a negative tilted death. So, yikes. Well, I guess that is one way to finish this week. So we have Sara who got two kills and then two Leos who got four and three, which was a very dominant performance. Nico died twice, Ellie died three times, and Maki died four times. Maki just kept dying here. It was just incredibly, just an incredibly poor performance over here, as they weren't able to do much whatsoever. So unfortunately, BB had a really bad performance. So maybe we can see him recover from this disaster next time. But anyways, congratulations to Saint Snow for, for securing their first victory. And maybe BB will do better next time. But that will wrap up this week. So stay tuned until next week where we'll have a new series of battles. And nobody will be fighting each other again. Everybody will fight each other once and have one bye week. So we'll not see another Saint Snow versus BB. They will be fighting different members. But that's all I have for this week. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to catch you guys in another video or battle soon.